Hello, this is Brian from G9, and today I'm going to talk about the book called Story of Warren Buffett, written by Ann Janet Johnson. To talk about Ann Janet Johnson, he worked as a broadcasting artist for a long time. He used his career of being a sports program artist and wrote a lot of sports-related books. Also, using his career about economy and business and people, he wrote books about economic or business now. One of his books is called The Story of Warren Buffett, the book I am going to talk about today. Obviously, the book is mostly about Warren Buffett. I mean, the main character is Warren Buffett. Warren Edward Buffett is an American business management investor, speaker, and philanthropist who serves as a chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He is considered one of the most successful investors in the world and has a net worth of US $82 billion as of July 18, 2019, making him the third wealthiest person in the world. This book is about Warren Buffett and his story when he was young and how he grew up. So to talk about the summary, I mean to summarize the book. The first part would be what Warren Buffett did when he was young. The second part would be how he began to make money and started his career. And the final part would be the story of helping a company that was about to fail. When Warren, Buffett's, Warren Buffett was young, he had a lot of interest in memorizing numbers. The, cap, the numbers in the cap of the bottle and statistic numbers written in baseball cards are the example. He also started to make money since he was very young. According to the book, he earned about $6,000 by the time he graduated from high school. This includes the money earned from simple work like uh, newspaper delivery or selling products to his, to his friends or people. After his distinct childhood, he went to Worthen School Worthen School of the University of Pennsylvania by being forced by his father. He eventually decided to transfer to University of Nebraska and studied business management. During his school year, he met a great teacher, Benjamin Graham. He helped Warren Buffett and gave a lot of influence to him. After studying in Nebraska, he met Charles Munger. To talk about Charles Munger, he was a charity businessman and real estate management. He made Warren Buffett and began business together. They eventually made a good result and Charles Munger was a good partner to Warren Buffett and helped him and helped him become a millionaire at a young age. The final part of the book would be the story that Warren Buffett supported an insurance company called, called Geico. So this insurance company called Geico is government employees insurance company. So this company was about to fail, not earning a lot of money, but by a support and the money donated by, I mean not donated, but invested by Warren Buffett. This company was able to manage the things that had failed and this turned out very well, making Geico the good and well company. So we can say that Warren Buffett has a good thought in investing his money. So by reading this book, I thought that Warren Buffett was a great person. And he didn't follow how others did, but he has his own economic thought and stick to his own intuition. Second, he thought himself as a consumer of the market, not the investor. So this changed his way of seeing the market compared to others. Finally, he supported others with the money he had. This includes the donation to the community who needs help and need money. And finally, for the reflection, I chose this book because once Warren Buffett was my role model when I was about to be prepared for a businessman. Yeah, so when I had a dream of becoming a good investor like him. So by reading this book, 
I thought I was knowing more about him and got a lot of advantage about his thought about the market, about the investment. Thank you.